What is going on, everybody? Mr. Z Dog Swag here, coming to you with my week one uh, team builder video uh, in preparation for the Houston Haluchas and Chunder Munch, a good buddy of mine. Uh, we had uh, some really good, uh, really good battle last year. Um, it did end up in some hacks, uh, and I did uh, pull away. I believe it was a 5-0. I just kind of watched it um, a little while back, and I believe it was a 5-0. So um, he did have a somewhat similar team. Uh, he had uh, these. These two mons here, but um, I just wanted to go over his team real quick and uh, give you guys an update on uh, exactly what I'm bringing uh, to our week one match. I'm really excited. I'm about to have it in a, in a couple minutes here, um, but we'll go over what he's going, what uh, what he can possibly bring. So he's got the Lando uh, Landers Therian, uh, Mega Charizard Y, Leafeon, Empoleon, Electivire, Meloetta, Drudagon, Heatran, Diancie, Trevenant, uh, Passimian, and Pinsir. So he's got a really scary team. Uh, not gonna lie, um, this these two right here, and then couple that with these two right here, it's a really scary kind of a core. It really doesn't correlate with each other very well, but it's really scary. They're really good mons, um, and also that with Diancie too is just really scary. He actually has a, a Steel um, Fairy Dragon core on this uh, on this third line here. Um, but he's got a really scary team, and um, I'm hoping that my team uh, is counter teaming enough um, to kind of uh, to kind of keep him uh, at bay. Um, I only see two Zmons on his team. I don't know what the last one is. Um, I think it might be like Meloetta, but I'm not exactly sure exactly what his last Zmon is. Um, for any like anybody like TDG or uh, Inversify watching. Uh, if he hasn't given this yet, I mean, I'm going, I'm basically going off the fact that he only has two Z-Mons that he's distinguished so far, so um, that's kind of just going in my prep, but in reality, I'm thinking he's going to be bringing uh, either a Scarfed or a fly Z or a ground Z Landorus, uh, more than likely offensive. I don't think he'll bring defensive Landorus. He did bring defensive Landorus last season, and I thought he would bring Scarf Landorus, but um, uh I really have this feeling that he's bringing like something like a Scarf Landorus or like a, a Z Move Landorus. Um, I think he's bringing Charizard. Uh, I think he's bringing Empoleon. I could see him bringing Diancie, um, and I do have answers for it. Um, I think he'll bring uh, Trevenant. Uh, it has a good matchup against my team, and then I think he'll bring either Meloetta or um, a Heatran of sorts. So. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I don't think he'll bring Leafeon. I think too many things wall Leafeon, especially since it can't do too much damage. Um, my team is somewhat fast, somewhat slow. Um, it's got a lot of uh, got a lot of niches uh, to do uh, in this team, so we'll go over it real quick. Uh, we got El OG Madre, um, kind of in uh, homage to um, having Mew being sighted in South America. I don't know. That's kind of just what I thought of, but. Uh, we got our Mew here. Actually, whoa, whoa, what happened to this? Wait a second. We got a lot of stuff we can do here. I'm going to have to mess around with that. Um, when I actually get in the battle, I'll show you what I do with it, but I'm glad I saw that now. But uh, We got a pretty odd uh, Mew set here. So we got Stealth Rocks. Uh, we got Will-O-Wisp, Ice Beam, and Rock Slide. So this thing is mainly going to be our um, Landers counter. Um, I debated long and hard about going with Adrenaline Orb for that Intimidate, but I decided that I really don't need speed, and essentially since Empoleon walls this thing, I'd rather have Rocky MZ because Rocky MZ Stealth Rock gives you plus one defense, um, and it also gives me an option to hit harder with my Rock Slide as well, too. So uh, I went with that. Um, Will-O-Wisp is essentially for all his physical attackers. I'm not really going to be spamming Will-O-Wisp. Um, more than likely I'll be switching out into respective mons um, that, wall my, that wall the special ones. Ice Beam's obviously for Landorus. Um, I think it's also for Trevenant. Um, I think there's one more. Uh, Leafeon. And then uh, Rock Slides obviously are for Charizard. Um, I have um, negative uh, special attack because I don't need it. Um, just with this 4 in special attack... Um, Ice Beam uh, has a 60% chance to KO normally, and then I believe it's 100%. It's, it's obviously 100% after Rocks. So, Stealth Rocks are a big thing in this match. I'm almost debating just leading with this thing. 
or that, or as you'll see later, it might lead with Mayhem and Volt Switch, depending on what he leads with, or, or what he's bringing. So I'll see what I do about um, about these extra stats. I didn't realize I had them, um, so I'll definitely... Uh, actually, no, this was, this was maxed out, I know that, so... Um, I think this was as far as it could go. Yes, that's it. That's what it was. So I had a lot of uh, special defense and uh, as well as physical defense, just so I can take hits from everything, um, and pretty much uh, just about, kind of be a big wall. So that's our Mew. Our next Mon is Spirit, uh, the Mudsdale, uh, going with a pretty standard uh, assault vest set. Although there are two moves here: Payback and Rock Tomb. Now Payback is here to pick off. What was it? Payback was here to pick off Meloetta. So, essentially, I can live anything that Meloetta wants to dish out. I can live an energy ball if I need be. Um, and I can hit it with a Payback and it instantly KOs. So, that's my main thing. Heavy Slam's obviously there for Diancy. Um, Earthquake just hits about a, hits a lot of things on his team for neutral damage. Um, and then Rock Tomb is there for Charizard. So, this thing somewhat gets walled by the uh, Landorus. Um, although I don't think that's too much of a problem because he can't do too much to me. The only thing that he can really do to me is intimidate me. And then at that point, he's just giving me stamina boosts over and over again. So I have 252 in HP. Got a little bit of uh, special defense, a little bit of uh, uh, defense. And then the rest is uh, into attack. So really good Mont. Hits really hard on his team. Um, so I'm hoping that, that this Mon does well. And uh, we'll see uh, what we can do there. Next spawn, if my computer decides to uh, behave, um, is actually our Mayhem. And I don't know what happened. Oh, there it goes. Uh, our Mayhem here, our Jolteon, is a pretty standard Life Orb set. Rocking uh, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Signal Beam, and Hidden Power Ice. Um, this speed is enough to outspeed uh, n anything that is not Scarfed on his team. Um, Charizard is his fastest Mon at 100. So uh, this speed does allow me to outspeed him. I do have a modest nature, so I'm hitting as hard as possible. Um, I also have uh, nine, um, and for my last number of an HP, so I can get maximum amount of life orb hits. So glad to have Jolteon back on the team. Um, I really like this Mon. Um, this thing can pivot really easily, especially with this Volt Switch. Um, he only has that Landorus um, for this, and if it's not Scarfed, if it's like a, a Z move Landorus, I and I'll probably have to scout for that. Um, but I definitely have HP Ice for that, so I can hit it as hard as possible and uh, pretty much KO it. So that's Mayhem. Then we got Mr. Z Dog Swag. Um, I tried to think of a name, and that kind of just what came up to me. Um, it's an interesting Entei set. So we got Air Balloon, obviously for Landorus. Um, more than likely, I'm going to be switching this thing into an obvious EQ, maybe on like a Jolteon or something like that. Um, and I'm going to be having the Air Balloon, and that I can fire off in Hidden Power Ice. Um, when he tries to maybe like knock off that air balloon or something like that. Um, Iron Head's obviously there for the Diancy. Flare Blitz hits a ton in the sun. I'm not going to lie. This thing and this thing are totally re relying on the sun. If he doesn't bring Charizard, I think I might be in a little bit of trouble. So uh, Flare Blitz does a lot in the sun. Um, so I'm hoping that um, the sun stays up and that I can take a, as much advantage of it as possible. Uh, Bulldoze is there for the Heatran, and then again, HP Ice is there for the um, the Landorus. And I believe it K's, has a chance to KO after Rocks is this uh, this exact set here. So um, enough speed to outspeed a, um, I believe it's an, maybe it's, uh, I think it's a Jolly... Actually, no, it's a Adamant Electivire or um, anything else that's like a base 95 speed. So it outspeeds, I think it outspeeds everything that Landorus has. Either that, it's definitely, it definitely outspeeds an Adamant Landorus. I think, I'm not exactly sure which one the speed is. Um, I wanted to run Jolly. This was really just a 252, 252, 4 set. Um, but um, uh, I had to... I had to remove um, Sacred Fire from it, so I had to keep it adamant. Um, so we'll have to see how that works there. So, And then we got D's Hands, our Ambipalm. This thing's essentially here for a lot of chip damage. Um, it can KO a lot of its mons uh, after Stealth Rocks and a little bit of chip damage. Um, Fake Out's there for, for a lot of pressure. Um, it does well against the Charizard uh, Return. 
obviously does a lot. Um, this is enough speed to outspeed everything on his team, barring a scarf. Um, so that's nice. Uh, low kick's there for Heatran, uh, and Empoleon and HP Ice is there with the Technician um, for that Landorus. So good mon here. Uh, I have a, a lonely nature just so I'm not uh, taking away from that uh, special attack stat that's already kind of low anyway. So I'm kind of using that to my advantage there. So that's our D's hands. And then we have our really repellent or er, reliant mon uh, on the sun. Uh, we have our Mega Venusaur, and it is a Growth, Giga Drain, Hidden Power, Ice, EQ set. So, um, running that Giga Drain just to hit everything for neutral, everything that doesn't, uh, it isn't affected by these for neutral damage, um, except for that Charizard. And the Charizard is going to be a problem um, for this Mega Venusaur. Um, my main thing is, if I can set up a Growth in the Sun while it's not met, or in the Sun period, um, this thing gets to plus two, plus two, so this thing is doing a lot of damage. Um, this is a very offensive set. Um, in the sun, this thing outspeeds everything on his team. It includes a Scarf Landorus, so um, I'm definitely going to have to be uh, watching out for exactly what's going on. Um, this thing is really reliant on the sun, not going to lie. So if the sun doesn't come, we're going to have to make good use of it. Um, probably going to have to use a lot of Giga Drains. Giga Drain is my only form of recovery on this team. Uh, as you probably could tell, so I'm gonna have to keep my mons healthy, and uh, and uh, pretty much we're just gonna have to play around his team. I think we definitely have to we have to play smart. Uh, his team's very scary. A couple people say that I have it easy, but I don't think I have it easy. Um, I'm thinking that I gotta play right. Um, everything's gotta fall into place, and uh, hopefully we can get ourselves a week one win that we did not get last year against TDG. So hopefully we can uh, we can start it off right this year, and uh, we can get it going. So I am Mr. Z-Dog Swag, coach of your Carolina Cronons. I will be with you momentarily for the week one match against Chunder Munch. I'm Google. Come back to me. Um, I'm so glad you guys came and watched this video. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Uh, leave some uh, suggestions uh, about maybe like what I did, like something I did wrong, because I'm sure I did something wrong. Because there's six mons and like six sats and, you know, four moves and a lot of this stuff. So I'm sure I did something wrong. So if you see anything wrong that I did, you know, just leave a comment on below. And uh, leave a like, like I said. And uh, subscribe so you don't miss out on any more CPBA action. I'm Mr. Z-Dog Swag. I will see you next time. Peace out.